Welcome to the Two Chicks Homestead Podcast. We are the Two Chicks. Yay! Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Aaron, and we talk about homesteading and living on a small piece of land. All right, everyone, welcome to episode 86, February 14th. Valentine. Valentine's Day. I know. It's the Hallmark holiday. Yeah, we don't do anything for Valentine's Day. No. My first, well, not my first job, but... A big job I had in, in school was working at a flower shop. Mm. So Valentine's Day was like the ninth depth of hell. <laughs> because you'd get all the people, or all the guys coming in that were grumpy that they had to spend $140 on yeah. crappy roses. Yeah. I mean, they're um, really not that pretty. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't think we've ever really done anything for Valentine's Day. Maybe the first Maybe, year Maybe, like two. when we were dating or yeah. something. Yeah. But it's like that in the sweetest day. I think you and I both agreed that it was like, yeah. no. Well, not. Valentine's Day, I mean, is so close to my birthday, too, that it's like, mm-hmm. I'd rather just do my Yeah, birthday. it's like Christmas and my birthday. Yeah, we can't not do Christmas, though. <laughs> but my birthday is on President's Day this year, so I, know. I had to share. It's all right. No, I think you'll survive. Yeah, I don't think we have many President's Day parties going on. <laughs> nope, nope. So be be fun. Girls are keeping busy. It's like sixty degrees outside. Yeah. So we've been working outside, working inside, kind of get that spring cleaning bug, mm-hmm. get some stuff done. So doing pretty good. I think pretty much all the snow is gone around here except on the lane, and that's about it. Yeah. There's a couple. Where did I see that snow? There's a little bit somewhere in the backyard, but it really wasn't. Much. Not, not yeah. enough to write home about. No. So. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to get any more. Uh, it's Maybe supposed southern to be Illinois. tomorrow night, I think it's supposed to be snowing. I thought it was might be south, south of, of us. Yeah. So, either way, I see 30s and 40s mm. for the foreseeable future with yeah. lows. We did get the trees tapped. Yes, we did too. Yep. So, we're not going super crazy because it was... It was a lot last time. Yeah. And I'm, we've only got one quart left out of all that we made, but I sold a bit, and I'm not doing that this year. It's just, it's too much work mm-hmm. to feel like I want to sell it for what I think it's worth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's it's good. I mean, we use it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, we, I, whenever we do our bacon, we use it. Well, yeah. And, I mean, I got really into using it in my coffee instead of the, whatever we use, the, the Jordan skinny, the skinny, skinny syrup. syrup. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I would imagine that is much more sugary than anything else. But The syrup? Yeah, we also do the black walnut, which is kind of fun. Yeah, we mix them. So it's not super sweet. Yeah. But it made that huge difference using the refractometer mm-hmm. last yeah, year. Yeah, we got that right where it needed to be. We do the black walnut and the... Um, I don't know if it's a soft maple or sugar maple. I don't or, know. I have no idea. I think idea. it's a soft maple. I don't know. I have no idea, but they're maples. Yeah. So, I mean, you can tap a ton of, of trees that mm-hmm. I would never have thought. Yeah. It's just, it's going to take forever to get some well, syrup out of some of them. Right. But, I mean, you don't go to the store and see, I mean, or even a farmer's market and see box elder syrup, but right. you can tap them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got a bunch of box elders on the lane. I know. That might almost sometime be worth it when we have nothing else going on. <laughs> well, there's two right down, right below my stand, so all the way down yeah. at the end. So uh, have fun. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can lug we, the two five gallon we, buckets out there. <laughs> we have wagons. <laughs> we have wagons. So that's only a quarter mile behind the house. Yeah, but then it's like you know I don't want to do a whole weekend of boiling what we usually do, and then a whole other weekend boiling box elder to see the difference. Mm-hmm. I mean, they'd all get mixed together anyway, so it doesn't even really matter. Yeah, but it'd be something fun. I mean, we'll have to look and see if we can find any box elders closer to the house. Yeah. So, I mean, it's nine times out of ten that lane behind the house is so drifted over from the snow. Yeah, that we probably don't even get down there in time. Yeah. So that's that's currently how it is right now. There's three, four foot drifts back yeah. there still. Yeah, that's true. So. But yeah, I mean, we're not going to have nearly as much as we usually do, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Even if we get a couple quarts out of it. Yeah, I, th- I think we figured out it's, what, 7 to 1? Yeah. S- maybe 20, well, it might be 15 to 1. 
Yeah, I don't even remember how much. I'd have to look back and see how much we got last year. We got 30-something last year. Did we get a whole gallon? I think it was under, just under a gallon. Okay, so then it's 30 to 1. Yeah. So, and I know some of, like, the box elders and some of the other stuff are even higher. They're, like, 40, 50 to 1. Oh, so it's even more that you need. Yeah. Well, whatever. So, I mean, we're just having fun with it. Exactly. It's we do we've done six five trees so f- in the past. Yeah. Um, and we get our uh, taps from tap my trees. Yep. I just did a post, which we can post on these links in here too. But I just mm-hmm. did a post on our Facebook page, maybe a week ago or so, with all the links to everything that we use. Yep. Yeah, the refractometer, mm-hmm. the the boiling pans, yep. the everything. Yeah, it's all stuff off Amazon. I I think the only one, the only thing we didn't get was the taps off Amazon. Right, and I think the turkey fryer was from Roll King, but I mean that's and you can get a turkey yeah, fryer anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> and I, was the gas? We had that big gas one burner too. Oh yeah, I didn't. I don't think I posted that, but I think I just said, yeah, that we use. We started over the bonfire mm-hmm. and then finish it on. To finish it on that thing, yeah. It works. Now that I have that thing figured out, at least I did last year, that burner, because, God, that thing's a pain in the ass. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, we do open flame. We did, what, 20-something hours? Yeah, and that's we had the rainstorm come through, and we had to use the... The tent? The broken tent. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll get it done earlier this year, before the rainstorms come in. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. That would have set us back, and we got dumped on pretty. Or it rained it, pretty good. It did, yeah. So, and we didn't burn the tent down. We no. didn't, you know, nothing major. So, that worked out pretty good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of excited to play around with it. I know we we're both kind of having it on. Yeah, it's it was one of those things where it was like it seemed like it was so early that all of a sudden it was a rush, and then. We got it done, and then I saw on Facebook the memories that, mm-hmm. like, it was this week that we were doing yeah. it last year. So it really wasn't even that much earlier. But people had been tapping already this year yeah. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, there's the big farm south of yeah. us that has all the trees. Yeah, so. God, they got 50-gallon jugs, or, like, 51-gallon jugs out there yep. on their property. It's amazing. Yeah. So we were a little behind, but, like I said, even if we just get a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we already it. filled up one five gallon. Yeah. There's probably half another five gallon, and there's probably a quarter of the black walnut filled. Yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah, it never really is. Yeah. I think the best year we had was the walnut year. Yeah. So. But maybe when the temperatures kind of cool off, it'll. Yeah, pick so back up. We're next week. We're it's supposed to freeze, then thaw, freeze, then okay. thaw. Well, that's what you want. Yeah. And this past three or four days has stayed above 35 mm-hmm. at night, every every night. So yep. it is what it is. It's been nice because it hasn't, I, not dealing with water with the rabbits. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, their bowls stay nice and thawed out. Yeah. So. Did we talk about all the wood we got? For the compost, I think so. Possi- right. Probably. I, I know we're planning on doing the composting yeah. toilet for the events. Mm-hmm. Um, that was, what, a month or two ago we got yeah. that? Yeah, I guess so. So Menards had this, had a sale. We ended up getting a whole bunch. Uh, it was, what, 40 or 52 by 4s. Mm-hmm. And then we'll get the rest of the stuff when we get close. Yeah. So that'll be a project we're looking for. Hey, and I got a bucket yesterday at Rural King, so yeah. we're set with that. Red bucket, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the forbidden do not touch bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they had their 12% off sale of everything that could fit in a bucket. And I even said I wasn't going to start seeds this year, and I came home with You came home a with a lot, lot of seeds. seeds. <laughs> I just can't not yep. do it. So we started a few seeds today, um, mostly herbs and stuff. Yep. So that'll uh, get a jump on those before we start doing the veggies and stuff. Yeah, which I do need to do peppers soon. Yep. Get those yep. going. Peppers will be next, and then are we doing... Do we start the pumpkins inside? No. No? Do you start those outside? I, well, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I do start them inside. I don't remember. 
I've only been doing this. Either way. We need to get the Homestead Journal going or the Farm yeah, Journal. Yeah, every year it's like, oh, I'll do it this year. And then I just don't. Yeah. Because then we would know, I know when we're supposed to be tapping the trees, when we're supposed to be starting Yeah, but seeds. you can't put a date, you know, that you tap yeah. the trees. But at least we would know when, it, when we did it last year. Yeah, that's true. So. Well, that's why we're making this podcast. <laughs> yeah, so we can go back and listen to everything. Yeah. yeah well, how do we sense. do that again? Exactly. So, and we also, last weekend, bred all of the rabbits. Yes, yeah. and you left them in for hours. Yes. So that was the one thing we saw a couple of people do that went, ooh, we haven't done it that way. Yeah. So Saturday we did three. For like five hours, mm -hmm. I left them in there. I came inside, goofed around, did something. I think you were. They were out doing visiting something. Family. Yeah, and then the next day I did the remaining two mm -hmm. for another like four or five hours. So we'll see. Yeah, I loaded everything in Everbreed, or the app that we use, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Yeah, because it'd be nice to have the problem of having too many. Yes, yes, because then we can officially do the class. Yeah. <laughs> and not be worried about it. Right. <laughs> We're, you know, having onesies and twosies. Yeah. You know, max four, and it's like, I don't really want to invite a whole bunch of people over here. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, we're, I'm looking forward to that. If we end up with, knock on wood... You know, f five rabbits each. Yeah. That's going to be 25 going in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd like to have that problem. Yeah. After not having any, hardly. Exactly. So we'll keep everybody updated on that and uh, figure out when it's actually going to be. Mm -hmm. So, but that'll be, uh, I'm kind of, kind of looking forward to getting some more rabbits because it'd be nice to get half of the goal in one shot. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it's frustrating because we don't know for sure what it is. Like, we were doing so well, yeah, and then we weren't. Yep. It was like a full stop of, like, we don't know what happened. Right, and we changed feed back down to a cheaper feed, mm -hmm. which we were originally using, and I've kind of been starving them a little. Yeah. Just to kind of try and help with the weight a little bit. Um really limiting their feed for like the past month and a half two months mm -hmm. um and we'll see how that works out i mean if we get if they lost some weight and all of a sudden they catch awesome yeah, yeah. so it, that very well could be the issue yeah and i think we've talked about it before where it's like things work and then you go oh wait all these people are doing it this way it's you know we need to improve how we're doing it mm -hmm. and then it goes to shit you know mm -hmm. and it's like well i would have been better off just doing it how i knew to do it exactly exactly so and then uh we got hydroponics up and running we got the mm -hmm. lettuce all popped up um yeah three out of the four yeah which is pretty good mm -hmm. it's better than it was yeah and then you started some passion flower which we're yeah. kind of waiting on yeah it sounds like it takes a little bit so yeah we'll see if not, we'll try it outside sometime this year. Yeah, it says to start it inside, you know, a couple weeks or so before the first frost, last frost, and then to plant outside. So I was a little bit late. I didn't even think to look on the package because mm -hmm. last time it was just I got the plants or the cuttings. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Yeah. I'd like to make my own stuff. Exactly. Now that we've been doing it, it'd be nice to... And it's going to be a while yet, even if it does take, just to get the flowers, I think, but... It's half the fun to try. Yeah. yeah. So, it's one less thing we're going to end up buying and mm -hmm. give you the chance to play with something. And yeah. You still got all that elderberry left. The elderberry tincture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that worked out real good. So, what else you got? Um, well, it was more just kind of, we, we didn't record last week because I was out of town. We went to the river house, um, and came back. And usually when we skip a week, it's like, okay, ready to go. We got stuff to talk about. And it just didn't feel like we had anything to talk about. And it was mm -hmm. like, do we just break until spring? 
or what? And I think we kind of decided that. And then I was like, well, I don't know. We just, I think we need to push through. But it was kind of like, um, and I know that Amy always says that there's no real balance. But that's like the best way to explain it, of trying to find the balance of living and doing and then making sure that you're witty on social media all the time yeah. <laughs> and, you know, commenting on other people so that you're not just posting and running, which is usually what I do. Yeah, but the... the I mean, especially on Facebook. I mean, yeah. I will post and then not check it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that the the post and drop thing is definitely more of a Twitter thing. Just post it and leave. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not on Twitter and we don't use it. So, um, I know... Facebook's been doing really good. It has been. It was doing really good when I was on top of it. And it was a weird... It was weird thing. Because it was like... It's doing really good. And that was almost more nerve-wracking than if it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Because it was like, when is... When is it just going to drop? Or yeah. how better do I need to keep getting to make sure that I'm still engaging and it was it was a weird mind thing yeah it's, was, it's, it's, it's it will fuck with your mind yeah so where it's like yeah when are people just gonna realize that I'm just a fake or something well, you know I'm, you know but it's like yeah you start I mean, thinking it's... where it's like okay I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> if, if anybody wants to call us a fake, feel free, because we are not. <laughs> so, they're, I mean, yeah, we have a half-acre half, half, half acre homestead, but we're raising animals here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's far from being fake. No, I know. But you start to think <laughs> that's like, you're not as... You're, you're not as much as all the other people, where you just start questioning, like... I don't know. Yeah, but you have to remember all those big name people were once the little person yeah. just getting started. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, there comes a time where I look and I want to go after the next best thing because mm -hmm. that's how I am. But how far do we want to go here? Right. And that's the reality of, yeah, I, I don't know if right now I would want 20 acres and mm -hmm. a bunch of cows and sheep or goats Yeah, because I have other things I want to do, mm -hmm. you know, that I can't just, you know, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to invest in all of that stuff. What we have now is good right now. Right. But it's also... you. Do we expand what we have here? Like, I see TikToks, because it's that time of year. Yeah. TikToks now of everybody getting their gardens ready. Mm -hmm. And everybody are doing the big cattle panel archways. Yeah. And it's like, I wonder if we could do that. I know. I mean, I've, I've thought about greenhouses, but then I go outside and it's like my hat flies off. You know? Yeah. It's like we have constant wind. Mm -hmm. And... I mean, do I really need to... Why am I doing that? To post pictures? Mm -hmm. To show people that, oh, yeah, we are improving things? Yeah. Or am I doing it because I want to? Mm -hmm. Because it will do something to help our family. Right. You know, it's, and that's, that's the constant thing of, like, why am I posting this? To show off? Mm -hmm. Or to go... Holy shit, I just made this perfect loaf of bread. I need to show everybody. You know, it's like it's right. a personal thing right. or and it's, that's where I get with doing the cattle panel archways in the back. Yeah. It's like nobody's going to go back there and see it. So what are we doing it for? Right. <laughs> right. If if you know, we needed it for something, mm -hmm. then maybe, but I don't know. I don't know what we would need it for. Yeah. But not to say that I'm knocking anybody who does. Right. But for us, it's like... We have the length and the floor right. space. We don't need to necessarily go up right now. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I saw that today, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, you look at things, and it's like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. 
But then it's like, oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Just one more thing that you have to, like, do. Yeah. We, we, we have other projects we need to get done this year, and I think it's finally time we get a roof on the run for the chickens. Yeah. Because yes, you, you've been yelling at me for the past couple of years about that. Yeah. This, was, <laughs> this year was kind of bad. <laughs> so that's going to happen this year. Yeah. Um, we're not expanding the rabbits. So we're kind of done with those guys for a little while, unless we re- replace the entire stock to be determined. Yeah. Ugh, hopefully not. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll be. Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty laid back year and try and do more events and have more yeah. people here. Yeah, just starting, a you know, forming a community that isn't just come show off how you homestead, mm-hmm. but just meet people and just hang out and have something. Right. Exactly. I know there's a bunch of homesteaders in the mm-hmm. area. Yeah. And it's just gotta get them. Yeah. You know. And we have the Facebook group which is there's a lot of people in there There's now. a lot. There's always people joining but it's not busy. Mm-hmm. And I at first was like okay Hey, what what's everybody doing? What's going on? And then it's like, you know what? I don't need to babysit. Like, it's there. Yeah. And I yeah, don't know. we don't babysit that group at all. It's whatever happens in there happens. Yeah. So, I think we've done pretty good with that. Mm-hmm. So, as long as you answer the questions, we'll let you in. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. but yeah, like I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> but I, I I know one of the things you were mentioning is trying not to get bogged down with doing all yeah that. I think it's it's trying to because I'm kind of on the cusp of like I don't know if I want to be a homesteader you know mm-hmm. I just want to live this life while we can't. Produ- producing things mm-hmm. for us to use that it makes it so we don't have to go out and buy as much. Right. Because I think that's my ultimate goal. But while still stay- saying, or still staying sane mm-hmm. and not... Because you don't have to do that. Right. You know, so it's just a, it's a choice of... I feel like I am really babbling. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a choice to be able to provide this for our family, not out of necessity, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And I, the ra- the rabbits are a choice. Doing the hog is definitely a choice. Mm-hmm. And it, that helps us out pretty good. Right, and we enjoy doing that. Mm-hmm. Would I want to do a hog every week? No. No. Maybe two a year tops, I would think. Yeah. Um. But I know you're getting another stuff too. You're hunt. You're now hunting. Yeah. So it's only a couple weekends out of the year, but still, you're going. But there's out and other, doing o- it. you know, there's other options. Mm-hmm. You know, we've talked about squirrel and right doing more goose and yep. chicken of the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this year, I think we decided we're not doing meat birds. No. We're just going to process our older hens mm. and then use them for soups and stews and yeah. just other little things and then replace them. Yeah, because we, we know what's the old old stock and the new stock. Yeah. So we were, that was a very smart idea to get one yeah. breed for this set. Yeah. Now we can go get the pretty ones later. Right. And then next year we'll get the one set, you know, the one breed. Yeah. So we know who's who. Yeah, because we had a mixed flock, and then we got all the Wyandots, which I wouldn't get them again. But we didn't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they they are kind of flighty, and they lay smaller eggs, almost bantam-sized eggs, maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, they're like your standard store-bought mediums, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. So. But that throws me off because it's like, can I use this in baking? Do I need to use two or what? <laughs> so those mostly go in for my coffee creamer. Yep. And scrambled eggs and things like that. But so this year we'll get a mixed flock again, mm-hmm. 
And I'd like to get more colors. Yeah. I, I love I miss, Easter I miss eggers. Those, yeah. I love Easter eggers because you never know what you're going to get yeah. with those guys. Yeah. If they're going to be blues, greens, pinks. Yeah, because we have all brown. I mean, they're a little different brown, but there's some all speckled. Brown. There's a pink one out there. Somebody's pink. Huh. I don't know who it I is. I don't know. But there's like a speckled one. There's a pink one. Yeah, but they're not like. Ooh. Yeah, it's not like bright pink. <laughs> And I know it doesn't matter. An egg yeah. is an egg. It doesn't matter ultimately, but it's fun having the colors. Yeah, yeah. The speckled one looks like they're running out of ink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The older ones are starting to lay a little bit more. The younger ones have been laying all winter. Yeah, they've but been now, doing pretty good. We got a ton yesterday, and then I knocked them all on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the 50 or so other I'm eggs sure. you have in bowls is not yep. really <laughs> worried yep. about it. No. <laughs> but, yeah. Shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's our plan. Yep. So we're going to keep going at it and keep coming up with topics to talk about and either we do really good things or we screw some things up because we're... Uh, we're good like that. Yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, I think it's just one of those things where it's like we have, we've gotten things kind of streamlined to where it doesn't take us all day to handle what we have out there. Mm-hmm. That now we've we've found other things that are now important. Right. And it's it's hard to do both 100% of the time. Well, and we're also in the slow time of year for us where we are just making do. Because we have not got the garden in, or we well, don't right. have the garden in, yeah. and you're going to be spending a lot of time outside the well, yeah. garden. Well, yeah. <laughs> Eventually, so, yeah. Um, but that'll be end of May, I think, is when we'll take things yeah. out. I mean, we're going to start seeds here in the next couple of days. Yeah, I want to get the peppers going, because I always do those with everything else, and then they take forever. And I'm always freaking out. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I got a bunch of different kinds of peppers because i want to make i want to try fermenting and do hot sauce and Mm -hmm. and the girls went crazy on flowers yeah yeah (laughs) i think you probably came home with like 50 (laughs) or 60 seed packets (laughs) well you know i'm preparing for the end times yeah but yeah a lot of people have been saying that a lot of things are selling out so even if i don't do them all this Mm -hmm. year we, it's it's not ever a bad idea to right have seeds and now you, and you bought them from the store you didn't order them I didn't order any seeds from any place I just bought them at yeah. the store because that was another thing you know it's mm-hmm. like I I spend money on these from these seed companies that I don't know just last year just totally effed me up because it's like yeah. nothing worked right and i don't know what i did i mean i know what i did with the pumpkins well yeah but But the the pumpkins are still funny as shit i mean come on (laughs) but i don't know what i did with the seedlings i mean they just all fell over yeah so i don't know if it was the dirt or what i have whole different dirt things i'm using this year yeah so i don't know figure it out and if it doesn't work then i just go to these sales that the scouts put on yeah. Something. Yeah. Which I'm fine with. Which I had the best yields last oh, yeah. year from those. Those plants. were really good. But if uh if you are new here, the uh pumpkin fiasco was um mommy saved the seeds from the pumpkins from mm-hmm. last year, but we had squash a little too close. <laughs> so we had some uh bu- butternut pumpkins. <laughs> Well, like spaghetti pumpkins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then I tried saving them all, and they all went bad. Yeah. So, yeah, last year was a test. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, yeah, that was uh, that that was pretty funny. We still got some pumpkins out of it. Yeah, I mean, I put them out front mm-hmm. for decoration, but, mm-hmm. yeah, they were all weird. Did we end up carving any? Mm-hmm. No. No, we bought some at that little orchard out by the river okay i couldn't remember if we had done up carving our own or you no. ended up buying some no we bought some yeah, either way 
So, but yeah. yeah, looking forward to it. It's February. We're coming out of the winter. It's been nice the past couple days. It's supposed to be stay relatively warm. Yeah. We'll see if we get a March snowstorm. Yeah. So, we still have possibility of snow up until the end of April, early May usually. Mm-hmm. So, see if we get one more slap in the face and. I should go take the plow off the ATV. Maybe that'll and make then it snow. It'll ha- yeah, then it'll snow. I should go do that. <laughs> yeah, because we still need to do um, our annual gingerbread shoot. We mm-hmm. haven't done that yet because it's been kind of You can't get back gross. there. <laughs> you can't get back yeah. there. I yeah. mean, that's... <laughs> so we still all have our gingerbread houses just waiting. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we got two here that are decent size. we got the Barbie one and mm-hmm. some... Candy, Candyland. Candyland, that's right. So we'll take those out, and then your parents will come, your yep. brother will come. Mm-hmm. And... and I think my brother made a, a house for Oki, the dog. Okay. So he actually has a house to bring this year. Okay. Not Very freeloading nice. off all our houses. There you go. That'd be fun. Yeah. So we just need the uh, four-foot drifts to get down to, like, two-foot drifts. Yeah. And then we'll be able to ride the ATV up and over the top of them. Yep. And then I can have a test with TikTok and see if I get... You will. Red flagged. Yeah, you'll get red flagged again. <laughs> it's, there's still one on there from the first year. So I don't know what was different about it, but... Some anti-gun yeah. person saw that some kid was learning how to shoot a rifle. And I got the new yeah. tripod for the girl to try out, too. Yeah. That'll be kind of nice. So... Yeah. Anything else? That's it. All right. We will catch you guys next time. See you on the homestead where something is always growing, eating, or cooking.